What's going on guys? It's your boy Peter and I'm back again with another video. I know it's been a long time I've made a video on YouTube here and that is because a lot of things have been going on in my life, you know what I'm saying? It's been really busy and there's not that much time to be uploading videos every week like i used to but i'm back now i'm gonna try to make more videos at least once a week you know what i'm saying try to do likes on live videos but anyways i've been getting a lot of questions that i feel like i have to address here on youtube and the question is actually can i get a job outside canada can i get an ame job outside canada for this question i'm gonna break it down into two categories so the first category is for people that do not have a license outside Canada and the second category is for people that do have a license outside Canada so for people that do not do not have a license outside Canada can you get a hear me job outside Canada I'm being brutally honest with you I would say it's gonna be a really tough one man it's going to be a really tough um um opportunity and that is because now I'll give you guys the whole reason why I feel like it's going to be really hard um first of all you gotta think like there is almost 500 students or even more graduating from all these colleges here in Canada every year. And for a company to look outside Canada, they have to prove to the government that there is no actually people applying for the job here in Canada, right? So why would they prioritize people outside Canada when there are people graduating as an apprentice in Canada, you know what I'm saying? So which makes no sense. So the reason why it's going to be hard for you guys is because companies got to prioritize people that already have the Canadian experience here in Canada first before they actually start looking outside Canada. And secondly, okay, let's talk about, okay, if they've hired everyone that has a Canadian education here. It's going to be really hard for companies to hire people outside Canada because they got to go through immigration. They got to go through, um, they got to prove to the government that, okay, we are, we post this job, I think for like 30 days or something for a couple months and there's no application. We cannot find anyone trying to apply for this job. You know, they got to pay some money. And lastly, they have to actually, um, what is it called? They have to actually try to create a work permit for people outside Canada, which is going to cost the company a lot of money. But why would they not rather just try to pick someone who already has, let me say, you know, a permanent residence or work permit in Canada or already has a citizenship in Canada? They'll rather pick those people first before they actually start looking outside Canada. But I'm not trying to discourage you guys to, you know, to to stop applying and i'm actually going to give you guys more advice on what type of companies if you want to try to um work in canada as an ame what type of companies you should focus on uh, you know send your resume to but i'm gonna be brutally honest with you if you're trying to apply to companies like let's say westjet or air transit or all these big companies it's going to be really hard for them to hire you because they have to prioritize people that already have you know, the apprenticeship in Canada, they have to prioritize people that already went through the Canadian education. They have to prioritize people that already have the the, the legal rights to work in Canada because it's all less money, bro. The companies are trying to spend less money. Why would they spend so much money on people outside Canada when they are people that already have the Canadian education as an apprentice? You know what I'm saying? So for you guys that are trying to, and one of the best, for you guys that are trying to apply to companies in canada and you're outside canada right if you're the i would say your best shot for you to maybe get a job opportunity is to focus on mro companies and mro companies are companies that actually perform heavy maintenance um c check for the most part so basically those companies usually hire people like literally every month you know what i'm saying and that is because um, a lot of people come to these companies, get their experience, get their apprenticeship, get their license, and they leave. You know what I'm saying? So they really, they usually have problem keeping people. You know what I'm saying? And also, most of these MRO companies are always in a little city, and no one is trying to live there. You know what I'm saying? And lastly, those MRO companies don't really pay that much. So I would say, for you to even have a shot getting a job here as an apprentice or someone who does not have any kind of 
um, license in your country, for you to have a shot getting a job opportunity here, I would say focus on these MRO companies. And even with those MRO companies, there is no guarantee, bro. There is no guarantee. And that is because, like I said, those companies got to prioritize people that already have some kind of Canadian education, some kind of, don't know, they have the legal rights um, to work in Canada. And that is because they got to save money because for them to hire you house in Canada, they got to prove to the government that, you know, they posted this job for like a couple months and no one is applying for it. They have to apply for a work permit for you, which is going to cost the company a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? And also they got to make sure, you know what I'm saying? You're good, everything, man. You know what I'm saying? So for the second category, people that already have a license outside Canada that are trying to get a job opportunity. You know, I would say this is where it's a little bit better. Um, and also, I don't want to be ignorant here. Yeah, it also depends on the type of license you have. Um, and that is because the type of license we have, we actually determine how fast your um conversion from your license back home to ame license how fast it's going to be because i've had stories of people from this specific type of countries it's always hard for them to convert the license to ame license you no know, you got to go through the transport canada inspector which can take like month and month and month you know what i'm saying so i would say it depends on what type of license you have you know if you have the fa license if you have the esi license it might be a little bit easy because those kind of licenses are more recognized you know what i'm saying so it all depends on the type of license you have um my first advice i usually tell people before you start looking for a job outside um canada if you have a license back home um the first thing you want to do is to try to reach out to transport canada and see um, the situations or see the requirements of how can you convert your license to AME license. If you can actually do that back home and you can convert your license as soon as possible, trust me, it's way more easy. Like you can get a job like way easy. You know what I'm saying? But companies might look at you and prioritize you a little bit more because you know you already have experience back home. You already have a, some type of license back home. And you know what I'm saying? They know that if they invest a little bit more in you, there's high chance of you converting your license to AME license. And which, you know, every company's goal is to hire people that have license because they can actually sign a maintenance release, right? So for you guys that are trying to, you know, that have your license back home and you're trying to get a job here as an AME, I would say yo, the best thing you want to do first, you know what I'm saying, is to try to convert your license back home. You know what I'm saying? If you cannot convert your license back home or maybe you have a job opportunity that is a little bit closer and there's not that much time for you to convert your license back home, um, the first thing you want to do is, like you said, focus on MRO companies. Those are the companies that will say mostly hire people that are outside the country. And that is because, you know, people just come to these MRO companies, they get some type of experience, they get their license and they leave. You know what I'm saying? They've really find a hard time keeping people because of number one, the pay, the city, and you know, there's a lot of you know criteria and most of the bigger companies always pay more. They have better schedule and everything. You know what I'm saying? So if you're trying to get a job, you know, outside Canada, man, um, I would say it's not it's not gonna be an easy journey because you gotta understand that all these companies gotta prioritize Canadians first. They gotta prioritize people that are in Canada first. They gotta prioritize people that have the legal right to work in Canada. You know, it's either you have a work permit or a permanent residence or your Canadian citizen. You know what I'm saying? Before they start looking for people that are outside Canada. Um, I hope this information is a little bit helpful. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's a question I really get every time and I, I haven't made a video on it. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm back. I'm going to try to start making more videos at least once a week. You know what I'm saying? And if you guys have any specific question you want me to um, address, please drop it down in the comment section. I appreciate all the love, man. Like, it's crazy how this journey has been a long journey. Um, for you guys that have been asking me if I'm going to be uploading more um, a day in my life video, I will say for now, I'm not going to be uploading any more a day in my life video. And there's, you know, a couple of reasons why I cannot upload it. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be, like I said, reputation is a really big thing in the industry. And for me, it's like my reputation is like my top priority. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to screw myself up, man. I've come this far not to fuck up my name. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate all the love. Like I said, I'm still here to help you guys out. 
I do free consultation. So if you have any personal question, reach out to me on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be a little bit late to reply, and that is because like my working schedule right now is a little bit crazy. I'm back to work doing a lot of overtime. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna still find some time to help you guys out. Like I said, my goal here on YouTube is to help you guys out, man, because I was in the same situation whereby I was looking for information. And if you feel like I did not um answer the question that you know I didn't really address the question. You can book a free consultation, man. Follow me on Instagram or DM me on Instagram at Peter Janet. That's P E T E R J A N D E D. And trust me, man, I'm going to try to answer your question. I appreciate all the love. I'm going to try to start making more videos at least once a week. Thank you guys for always showing me love. Appreciate it. And if you guys are new to my channel, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, man. Love you guys.